Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about open games and today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode of Detail, remember, we went ahead and we met Miss May's Mister Mysterious Man who murdered Miss Mia. I think I got that right. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and go over to Grossberg's because Mr. Red White, uh, who's Miss May's Mr. Mysterious Man who murdered Miss Mia, uh, he mentioned that Mr. Grossberg had something to do with all of this and that there was something about living life purely for personal profit. A lot of alliteration in this case. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! Jumping Jehoshaphats! Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him, that much is clear. One of my favorite songs is back. Anyways, today's trial. So, you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all night, all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just Mia's sister. Poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if, if things had gone poorly for the girl. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I might know what it is. So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... That big painting. <laughs> Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected, you say? Yes, I know, and I know what it is. Your lovers. He's blackmailing you. Mr. White is something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that, that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound and able to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Fay? Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating the murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. 
As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. The murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Well, why are you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know that they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know, but one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard all about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him. Have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. So yeah, the DL6 incident seems to be pretty important to this case. So basically, just to recap, 15 years ago, uh, uh, a long time ago, uh, Maya's father passed away, and a couple years later, in 2001, uh, Maya's mom, Misty Faye, uh, did an investigation, a spirit channeling for the DL6 incident, and it turns out that she was incorrect somehow, and so she left, leaving Mia and Maya. Meanwhile, Grossberg told Red White that the police had used the spirit medium, and he, Red White told everyone. And then once the police started looking for the guy who sold them out, Red White said, hey, I'll sell you out. I'll sell you out for selling them out unless you start paying me. And so the, for, the fast, for the past 15 years, uh, he's been paying him off. It's funny. Looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. So yeah, if there's any place to look for clues, it'd be this shelf over here. All the cases the Chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? File A to I. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. A, B, F. Misty Fay. That's me and Maya's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? I have tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words. My mother vanished. I've tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words. My mother vanished. I was determined to find the one, the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the ESP that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold the, that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm. The record stops there. So me and New Grossberg. Let's check the files again. All the cases the Chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? J to S. Let's see. J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of, some of it? Huh. <sighs> Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest parts here at the end in S. Su- Ugh, Suicide? That- You don't say ew when you hear about suicide. That's- That's depressing. Here's a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Huh. Let's find the most disturbing one. J. 
Valley check me as files once more. Which file to check? Let's just do the last one to be safe. T U I know W white. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? So yeah, it seems like Mr. White, while he was in here, decided to take a huge chunk of files. Let's head back to Grossberg's real quick. I found this in Mia's files, so she was investigating Red White, as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and present it to him first. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file fought. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White. I know what you did to this politician. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of these suicide cases that we investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office. Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second. Mr. White. You are absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I've found him. He's sitting right in front of me. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered. All the documents about you suddenly mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White? That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quiet, dude. I told you I'd changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The, the executioner, that hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer, man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinion to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police, now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. 
I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I... I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe, reporting, sir! Ah, Butts! Harry Butts! Right, actually. Phoenix Wright. My friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Ms. Mia Fey. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Rong. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. Why, it's going to set a trap for me, and the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. <sighs> now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean... you... I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother? My sister? And now you! This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Well, you could cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean, like a cheerleader? Huh? Uh... Yeah, like that. All right, leave it to me. Huh? I'd better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. There really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay, then come to the court tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. It's the beginning of a new century, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair for myself. Tomorrow the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it. It's mere him.